Welcome to Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. This forecast is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cusp. Please be mindful that this platform is designed to inform and to teach, so you may want to bring learning tools. Also be mindful to support this platform by providing your likes, your comments, by sharing, and by subscribing. Don't forget to press the bell. Now let's prepare for what messages the greater source will like to relate to you regarding your work and money for the week of February the 6th until February the 12th. I'm sure it's beneficial, so please stay away. All right. Welcome back, Beatles, to the temple once again for your work and money. I hope you are doing well and um, the 2022 is being good to you. I want to thank you for week before last, well, it would be like last week as I do these um, recordings now, but by the time you get it, it'll be week before last views. I think you raised yours up a couple of notches, and I'm very appreciative of that, and I, I hope that you continue to raise your views because I want to give you more information and enlightenment week after week, okay? Uh, if you have Gemini or Aquarius as part of your chart, even Leo, check those out. They were um, three of the signs who gave me the top views for this week's working money. Well, for last week's or, you know, the prior week's working money. But those um, extra treats apply to this week's working money. So, I want you to um, continue to, you know, give me your support as I continue to remain devoted to you, like I said before, or to other um, signs in the houses that, you know, this is a marriage, you know, it's a commitment and I'm devoted to you. I'm devoted to sharing with you whatever the greater divine source would like for me to relate to you. Because what I do know is that the universe will never put us through something and not prepare us for it, whether it's through an oracle, a dream, you know, the, 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 some preacher, uh, some personal insight or revelation, whatever. You, you, you're prepared for it, just like going to school, you know. So, um, again, thank you. And we're going to go ahead and get started with your forecast. And then at the end, we're going to sum it up and see what it's all about. Okay, see how it ends. Okay, so Source, whenever you're ready for our Beatles, um, there it is. That's the first card. We have the overall energy of the Ace of Cups, okay? I'm going to shuffle again just to be sure. I'm not certain if that's where I'm supposed to start, okay? All right. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, core energy is the eight of wands. You can expect the hangman. Your energies are stemming from the queen of swords. All right. Your outcome is the four of pentacles. Okay. Conflict and a challenge and support of energy we'll get to later. Your underlying energy is the seven of pentacles. Okay. And um, I'm hearing piecing it together, piecing it together. You try to piece some stuff together, okay? This could be bits of information. You're trying to piece it together, almost like a puzzle. You're trying to piece it together because you really can't make no moves until you get it all together. And this could be money as well, you know. You're trying to piece it together to come up with a total sum or um, piece it together so that you can have a plan or, you know, all the information that creates a plan, right? So your underlying energy is piecing it together. Underneath that is the Five of Swords reverse. As well as the seven of wands reverse. So we have seven, seven, seven here. Oh my gosh, that's five, seven, five, seven. Okay. So the five of swords, like 
you are internalizing some stuff internalizing what to say maybe this is how to get what you need how to get the information uh trying to see how to come across okay because sometimes this can be like trying to get back or trying to get at someone okay all right and underneath that it's dealing with just someone or you focusing you know on their own thing you know um i feel like this is at home though like they're not paying attention to the competition. It could be at work. They're not paying attention to the com to the competition. They're not paying attention to the ruckus. They're just focusing on their thing. Okay, what they got to do, which looks like they got a couple of things going on. Okay, and all of your energy is <clears throat> based on this eight of wands. Again, this is coming and going, in and out entry exit okay um because some i'm hearing somebody is this could be you or someone uh you want to get established you know you want to get established i'm also hearing you want to build you know you want to go somewhere and or be somewhere where you, you want to resolve your issues here because, see, these are backyard solutions, okay? Maybe you need to go somewhere to get this done because this is also dealing with travel. This is also dealing with information. Input, output, okay? It, that, that lines up well with this um, Seven of Pentacles. And I'm hearing that, um, that some of this energy... You, you may need to be humble about it or you will be humbled by this energy, this experience because it's stemming from this, this queen mother here, the queen of swords. So I don't, that's probably why I'm feeling and hearing being humble because um, you know like sometimes people can recognize you for something and it makes you a humble person you know what i'm saying or you may be humbled by your financial experience or trying to get this information you may have to be humble that's where that internalizing how to come across okay it's stemming from being humble you know sometimes it pays to be humble you know to um How do I want to put that in words? Oh, so we can already find a mean a meaning for this. Okay, I've eaten and it's getting late, so I, I, I may sound like I'm dragging, and I am. Okay, I'm getting sleepy. Um, you know, humble, very gracious, not taking it for granted. Um, You know how you feel honored that you're honored like you feeling humble about things uh, that's really like God like to me Wow like you don't take it for granted that's what I'm looking for you don't take it for granted because you know like you got it, you can lose it. You know what I'm saying? So you don't take it for granted. And you're trying to figure out how to come across. That's the underlying energy with that seven of pentacles. Because you are dealing with this queen mother here, the queen of swords. This is a no bullshitter here. Okay? She speaks her truth. She knows a lot of things. She's highly intellectual. Um, now, if she's on the up and up, she's God-fearing. But I'm not saying that every queen of swords is, because she's in an up position, is just, you know, God-fearing. You know, you got some that can be, uh, have their ways about them. But nonetheless, they are true. They're real. How people say they keeps it real. You know what I'm saying? They don't have, she don't make time for bullshit. Okay, the Queen of Swords can also be a male. He could be in the Queen of Swords energy. Ain't got time for bullshit. Um, 
You know, this is the person that you get permission. You don't just, if you don't get permission to be in her, her space, it's going to be a problem. You will hear about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't take anything for granted when it comes to the Queen of Swords, okay? And this is based on some information, something being established, and like I said, here. And you may be traveling to this person, or you have. What's the reason for this, dear Swords? For my beautiful beetles. Okay. You have the Five of Cups, and it's based on the Three of Cups. So, it's your energy. It's your element here. And this is um, separation and reassessing some stuff. There was a loss here. And it's based on a third party. I don't know if you had another girlfriend or another boyfriend. Or uh, maybe you did business together. And something went wrong. Some of you is just too much kicking it, too much partying. But there's a separation here. But but they're still holding on to that connection in the Five of Cups. This could be you or them. Still holding on to that connection for some reason. Okay? Based on the good times, based on the fun, based on the partnership, you know. And I see that in, so also the part of this five of cups, which I believe is you because it's your element there's a freeing here, a letting go of these, of the partying, of the partnership, of a partnership, of a friendship, because oftentimes there's a trice here. Like, you with somebody and you like somebody else, or you know they like you, but it's like you're getting rid of the whole thing because of this connection here. And this here is a soulmate energy. This is an emotional connection. Okay. For some of you, this was a dream. You, either you dreamt this connection or you done, you've had some dream about this connection. And this could very well be what you're reflecting on, that dream. Like, what does it mean? Okay. I'm also hearing fiery darts. So, there may have been some people throwing out negative energy or speaking negatively, sending you negative energy or negative energy coming your way from this connection, regarding this connection. Okay, and that's just some of the energies that I'm picking up on and that I'm seeing, you know. But there has been some type of revelation or something regarding this connection. Some type of dream, maybe some type of oracle, something about this connection. And what can you expect is just to be in the hangman now. Either this is you or someone else who may, who may be in the fire element, which is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Trying to get information. Or oh, this is you. Maybe it's in your chart. Again, you're trying to piece it together. This could be you or someone else trying to piece this shit together. Trying to piece something together. Trying to put something together stemming from this Queen of Wands. Now, if this is the workplace, this very well could be like... Uh, the director, the supervisor, because this is the the HVIC, okay, the head bitch in charge, as they call it, or the HCIC, the head chick in charge, okay. Uh, she shoots the order. She say how things are gonna go. She's the brain, and maybe she's giving you food for thought. 
you know, where you can go, where, what you should do in terms of what to submit information. Okay. Maybe this is a separation from your job and you know the basis of it may be because of a, a you know, a part of uh, having too much fun of even foolish things going on. Because this, this is a separation as well. Whatever it is, it's whether it's a separation in a relationship or on a job or through your partnership, you know, like a contract or you working with somebody, you know, or you working together with somebody, something foolish happened. You have foolish thinking, foolish moves. But I keep hearing partying has something to do with it. Friends that you party with, that you kick it with. Okay. If some of you waiting to get details, waiting to get information, waiting to hear back this week when it comes to work, money, and possible leave romance. Okay. Okay. Stemming from this, um, the mature lady, stemming from your director, your supervisor. This could be somebody in HR. Okay. In human resources. Because you don't know. Um, and I'm also hearing hanging out. I feel like some in another scenario, whether this is you or someone else, like I said, they may have strong fire in the chart. They hanging out, trying to gather information because of this woman, this Queen of Swords woman. Now, I'm hearing something about cape. I don't know what this got to do. I don't know if she wear capes. You know, um, cape to me also represents some kind of power. And you may be trying to piece this information for this woman. Okay? I don't know why. I don't know if, if some of you are doing dirty work for this woman. Because I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this is not innocent. In this aspect. Trying to piece something together for the benefit of herself. Because this eight of wands can also be a person. This could be, they could have eight of wands energy. They could be ruled by the eight of wands in their chart. And this is somebody who comes and goes, comes and goes at will. Uh, this is a solutionist. And when you put both of these together, this is problem solving. Okay? This is problem solving. Trying to solve a problem. What is the problem? Okay. It has something to do with a separation and this group of, of girls. Because hmm. sometimes I see the group of girls as being foolish or kicking it too much, you know. Um, Maybe some drama here. Maybe it has something to do with the job of, you know, of having certain relationships. But I see in the outcome, you gather some information. It's enough. It's not everything, but it's enough to go on. Okay, if it's dealing with finances, you get enough. You'll have enough to build, to get started, to make do. Okay. Because also I'm hearing borrowing. This could be an issue where you borrowing money from this queen of swords or this queen of swords person trying to figure out how to get it. You know what I'm saying? So you can focus on some things that you want to get done. So you could, you know, I guess complete your task or. Um, 
I don't know why I'm hearing fight back. Figure out how you can fight back. I don't know. I'm just giving it to you like she's giving it to me. But you'll be pretty complete in the end. You'll be stabilized. Okay? You'll have enough to get back and forth, whether this is having enough money to get back and forth to work, to have lunch, you know, stuff. You know, oftentimes when people are starting fresh on a job, they have to borrow anyway. And so you will have enough to get to your next check. You see what I'm saying? Let's see what the conflict is. Death card. Okay, there's um, a drawing of the line here, a restriction. Um, actually, the conflict is having to go meet the person in charge. It could be this queen of swords. This is a conflict. This is something you got to do before you can move forward. And it's not really what, if it's a conflict, it's something you don't want to do. One thing I know about the death card, you don't want to go through it, but you want the rewards. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's no different than saying, if you want to clean house, you know you got to clean it up. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to clean it up, or maybe you don't feel like doing it at the time. You know, but you know, if you want to be comfortable, that's what you're going to have to do. And the death card is an energy that says you got to do what you don't want to do. And sometimes it has a lot to do with the timing. Okay. Sometimes it has to deal with the a person. You know, this is going to see the, a great person. This is like crossing the great stream. This is something you don't want to do. It's a conflict. But you have to, because whoever it is, you, they're in charge. And I, it, like I said, this could be equated to this queen of swords. She is in charge of the situation. Again, this could be human resources. This could be your mom, a godmother. This could be even a masculine who's in his feminine energy at the time. And usually when I say he's in his feminine energy, he's in his emotions. That's feminine energy, okay? And I keep hearing, because you have to understand, they protect their space, okay? Your overall energy is, I'm also, I'm also hearing ceiling fan, okay? I don't know why that's important, but inspiration, um, making this, making a confession, you know, having to own up to something is the overall energy. I'm also hearing tap water. It's coming out of this. I'm hearing something about ceiling fans and tap water. But there is a confession here. I'm also, she's also telling me something about a tip. You know, and the Queen of Swords is great for giving you tips about things to do, where you can go, you know. Um, who's in charge of what. She has a lot of knowledge under her belt. She can lead you and guide you where you need to go. And maybe this is why you're waiting on this information, trying to piece it together. In the end, whether this week or a month later, you'll have enough to stabilize yourself, enough to go on. Okay, but first you got to do what you don't want to do in this death card. Funny thing, again, the devil is here to help you. It's going to be your support or your um, blessed energy here. And that's piecing it together. You know, just making a decision and quit going back and forth. You know, um, stop struggling with the issue and just make a decision. Just make the commitment. You know, just do what you know to do is right. You know, do the right thing. Like, like, like Spike Lee said, do the right thing. You know, stop trying to have your way. You know, you can't, that's what got this trouble right here with this five of cups and this three of cups. You know, that's why there was a separation. You know, just do the right thing. Get out your feelings. Get out of your emotions. And just make good choices. Good, healthy choices. It's just one to make. Quit struggling. Quit trying to have your way. You know, you're not a baby. You're not a child. If you was, you need. If you are, you need to get off this platform because this is for people who are growing up, 
and who is grown and who are adults, 18 and up, you need to make a decision, okay? That's what's going to help you, not playing back and forth, trying to figure out how to get your way. Like, I kind of feel like it's in this Five of Swords. Because the Five of Swords, to me, says everything about trying to be slick, okay? Get out your feelings, okay? And just make a decision. Just do what you got to do. Whatever it is, if you got to piece it together and fix it, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Be an adult and do what you got to do. And once it's done and over with, you'll be happy and, and it'll be out of your way. You see what I'm saying? You know, it's just time to grow up and take responsibility for shit. Oh, you got mail. Is that what you've been waiting on? The mail, your email, okay? The letter in the mail, you know, I don't know. Text mail, that's what summing it up. Some information is coming through the mail. I don't know. Maybe it's your taxes. And I'm going to leave it right here. Thank you so much, Beatles, for tuning in once again for your weekly work, money, and romantic forecast. I hope I can bring you another one next week. Until then, take care of yourself. Peace and one love.